Welcome back. Welcome back. You are listening to Whistle Wednesdays here on AM 1170. The answer. My name is Kyle Whistle, your host with Whistle Realty. Joined by Mr. Jason Hall, Team Home Loans, East yes, Village sir. Chargers. He's just got that swagger back that there's some some positive news with the Chargers. I love when you got swagger, Jason. It's more fun. You think it's more fun? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm you know still excited. At least there's possibility. I still, as you can tell from earlier in the show, I'd still, I think, rather have it in Mission Valley because I think there's a much better chance of making it it's happen. path of least resistance. Right. I just want to get it done. And I think that's the key. And if it can happen anywhere in San Diego, I'll be happy. But I'm going to be very disappointed if they, oh, we can't get it done, and now they leave. And then they when we out. had an opportunity, I think most of us believe could have gotten done. But as long as it happens, I think we're all good. But I, I, think, I think about this. Last night when I was listening to all the radio shows and all the people talking on TV about the Chargers, I was thinking, like, you have two opportunities. You can buy this $500,000 house, and there's, like, 10% chance you can get the loan and get it done. But it's the home of your dreams, and that's what you want. But we can get the one for four fifty, and we're, like, 98% confident we can get that loan done. And which one you want? Well, everybody wants the five hundred. They go for that. But if it's only 10% chance and they get shut down nine times out of 10, they're going to be really disappointed. I just don't want us to be in that position. And I think it's, you know, much safer for everybody involved to go after the 450 house in that example. So that's kind of why I think it'd be better to go to Mission Valley. I think that's where a lot of the politicians, a lot of the city officials here think that'd be easier. And, you know, we got a 90-something percent chance of making that happen. But I'm all for having the beautiful skyline and making it happen, and it's a great dream. Can we make it a reality? That's the big question. Love it. And again, before their break, we were talking with David Morris, AppraiseNet. If you want to connect with David, you have any appraisal questions, 619-663-SELL, 619-663-7355. And so, Jason, you were talking about buying the house and maybe only having a 10% chance of getting it. We're starting to get into that market again. The everybody's moved their timelines up. We've talked about it multiple times on the show. Spring and summer is usually the busiest time of year here in San Diego, but between the feds raising rates, between the election coming up in the fourth quarter, we're really seeing from our end on the real estate side, a lot of people moving their timelines up. So your typical spring buyer is buying in the winter and we're assuming the same is going to happen. Your summer buyers are going to now start buying in the spring. Everybody just wants to get this stuff done earlier. So we're seeing a lot of multiple offer situations where a lot of times you're only having a 10% chance of getting a house. But what can somebody listening to the show do from the loan perspective to give himself the best chance possible of getting that dream home? Be prepared. You know, be prepared. Know what, know that you have to have what you have to have. What documents do I have everything? So many people will talk to a lender over the phone, say, yeah, my credit's great. You know, I make this amount of money. I'm putting this amount of money down. And the person goes, yeah, great. You're qualified for $500,000. let us go find a house. But no one's really verified anything. And maybe they just verify credit. Because nowadays it is, you can do a credit report right over the phone. You can do it in seconds. Um, where years ago, it would literally take us like a week to get your credit report. We'd have to order it. It takes some time. So now that happens automatically. So that's the first step. Figure out what that credit is. So many people say, my credit's perfect. And then, you know, we find out something happened. Something that they didn't know about. I've had late fees show up on mine. My wife years ago had a city of San Diego uh, collection show up. We ended up doing some research. It was a library fine when my daughter was five years old at the time. And she'll be 25 tomorrow. So that lets you know how long ago that was. But And you're old. I know. You know, but that's one of those things that it can't happen. Right, So you want to verify what's on there. You want to make sure an underwriter does a full pre-approval. You have somebody review your tax returns, your pay stubs, your bank statements. Truly be prepared. So that, therefore, that's going to lift your, your chances of getting that deal done. And as you know, Kyle, working with a local lender, whether it's you know me or somebody here at Team Home Loans or at Synergy One Lending or any of the local offices here in San Diego, you want to work with a lender that you can sit down with, meet, and that the agents know and respect. You don't want to... You don't want to sit down with somebody else. I love, I love uh, you grinning and giving me a hard time about sit and sat. So I got an example that this is perfect for. We had a property listed, and it got to a situation where this, we were down to the 11th hour. Property had to be in escrow by yesterday, by Tuesday. 
Um, so we were under the gun. The seller made an aggressive adjustment on the price. It attracted a lot of activity. I had a lot of buyers coming in. Got one offer on the property. Full price offer. Solid. Um, there was another buyer who came in who was very interested in it. And we explained to the buyer, look, if you come in and you see this house and you like it, you need to write an offer immediately. And it was priced very aggressively, 40000 less than the most recent sale a few doors down. So great deal for a buyer coming in because the seller was in a situation they needed to make something happen. And this buyer came in, loved the house, wanted it, but they hadn't gotten the ball rolling on the loan yet. And as a result, they missed out on that opportunity because they were really under the gun. They had less than 24 hours to make a decision. They hadn't spent the time up front to get all their research done, to get their ducks in a row, have their pre-approval set up. As a result, they missed out on that opportunity. And that just really goes to show if, if you're thinking about getting into the market of buying a home, in all honesty, us as a realtor, we're step two in the process. Step one in the process is connecting with a great lender like Jason Hall at Team Home Loans who can get that pre-approval set for you. And there's a couple reasons the pre-approval is important. One, like we just talked about, you're going to need that pre-approval if you're going to write an offer on a property. No seller, no listing agent is going to take your offer seriously unless it's accompanied by a pre-approval letter. So that's a big part of it. You don't want to find the perfect home or the perfect deal and miss out on it because you don't have that pre-approval letter. Second, you want to make sure that you're looking at homes that are the right price range that are going to fit your particular budget. So many times we have people that come up with their own math of, well, if it's a $500,000 house, it's going to be a $5,000 a month mortgage. No idea where in the world they come up with that number, (laughs) but people just come up with these numbers out of thin air. And when they actually sit down with somebody like you, Jason, they realize that that $500,000 house doesn't cost nearly the $5,000 they were thinking of. And they're pleasantly surprised to find out they can actually afford that $5,000 mortgage, but that $5,000 mortgage, that's going to be more like a seven dollars or $800,000 house, and they can afford a lot more than they think. So it's crucial to talk to the lender. Again, Jason Hall at Team Home Loans, part of Synergy One Lending. Awesome. Done my loans for 13 years now. You want to talk to somebody like Jason up front, so you're looking at the right price range. And so many buyers now are doing all their research first before they ever reach out to a lender, before they ever reach out to an agent. And it's all for naught because they were looking at the wrong price range the entire time. Unless they got a big cash account, right? Unless you got 500 grand in cash in the bank and you can make that decision on your own. Me and Craig Sony talked about it on the American Dream. Wouldn't it be nice if we had the buyers push over the $500,000 in cash to the seller at the closing table? How much more real would it be if you're actually pushing cash? Right, So if you have the cash, you don't need a loan. But most of us, probably at least 90% of the business here in San Diego, you need to have a loan, and that's what you're referring to. Yeah, so it's just crucial. We're getting into an extremely, extremely competitive market right now. It's, we're not even done with February. And anything in that three to 700000 price range, we're seeing in most parts of San Diego, we're seeing multiple offers on. So it's crucial that you can make your offer stand out from the crowd. And it starts with having a pre-approval letter from a solid lender. And what we love about when we work with Jason is he is local and he can get more involved in the transaction. So when we send that offer over... Now Jason can follow up with that agent on the other end and tell them about how great you are as a buyer. Try doing that with, you know, Quicken Loans online. You don't even know who your loan officer is if you even have a specific one assigned to you. You just, you know, whatever random name comes out of the computer and who knows if that's who you're even talking to. They're not going to get involved in the transaction like a local guy like Jason can where he can call the listing agent and say, Hey, I just met with the you know the Smith family. They're extremely well qualified. He's an electrician, uh, has his own business. She works at Qualcomm. Great, you know, seven fifty mid credit score. I verified their tax returns. I verified their pay stubs. I verified everything. These are really solid buyers. You know, to somebody like me as a listing agent, when I get a call from a lender like that who can tell me and prove to me he's really met with these people, they're really qualified for this home. I'm going to want to work with that buyer and that lender as opposed to the person who sends me over something from Quicken that I know once we get into escrow, I'm never going to hear from that lender and I'm going to have to be chasing somebody down. Odds are they're in a different time zone. They work banker's hours. I can't get a hold of them. So having a lender where you can text them, you can call them, you can Facebook message them um, on Jason's Jitterbug. I mean, you can do all yeah, of I'm that. I'm not sure about Facebook messages. <laughs> <laughs> having somebody local like that that can really go to bat for you is huge. So again, if you want to connect with Jason, team 
Team Home Loans or David Morris Appraise Net. You have any questions regarding any of the stuff we talked about on today's show, 619-663-SELL, 619-663-7355, or visit WhistleWednesdays.com, W-H-I-S-S-E-L, Wednesdays.com. You can listen to past episodes of the show on there or ask us any questions you might have. Thanks so much for listening to Whistle Wednesdays. Talk to you next week. Girl, I'm gonna show you how to do it, and we start real slow. You just put your lips together.